Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. I'm really happy to see you in 2023. I edited this live stream where we were making some animation in PowerPoint. I usually stream every Thursday. I look forward to seeing you guys. There's also a special announcement about the Drawbalmet Award. This is for celebrating that we have over 10,000 subscribers here on this channel. We will have a competition and the winner will get 100 euro cash price. I'll give you more details at the end of this video and in the meantime let's enjoy making some powerpoint animation you can find the animation tab on top of here and when you open it you have a list of animation that you can add we will need to add this motion path and click on lines then you're able to move your vesicle and the vesicle is going too far. We will need it to stop here on the edge of the presynaptic neuron. You can change the path of the animation by holding the node. The green node is the beginning position and the red node is the ending position. Hold it and then move it up. I'm holding shift so I can make sure the path stays perfectly vertical. So now when you preview it, the vesicle will stop on the edge of the neuron. We need this vesicle to fuse with the axon membrane. Let's make a copy of the vesicle and I will delete the animation. Click on one of the animation node and then just delete it. Let's place this vesicle at the ending position of the previous animation let's see if they perfectly align they do that's great that's what we want first we need to ungroup it okay and i will insert a rectangle here like this I'll make a copy of it I'll make this block completely white and no outline so I kind of crop out uh, this part of the neural membrane and then let's select the vexico right click and go to edit points and select the lowest point right click on it click on open path so now you have your path open wide if i make it a little bit longer i think that might help okay add point hmm if i add a point they they distort it it's so annoying it happens with powerpoint sometimes okay then i'll just move it here do your best to connect these two lines and we do it on the other side too first let me turn the handle this way ah uh, look it's just that's the annoying thing about powerpoint uh so i would still recommend adobe illustrator and inkscape because they're meant uh those software are meant for graphic design and PowerPoint is not so it will create these annoyance okay that's good we need to squeeze this, this part down a little bit the point of making this white block is to crop out this part of the shape we need to change the shape of it a little bit it's not blocking the entire shape completely we need to group the synapse part, but not the neuron tr transmitters. Let's go back to the animation. Remember we made this, right? And we need to make a transition to make this vesicle disappear and the merged vesicle appears. Let's go to animations. Click on this animation pen. Then you can see the order of the animation and this one we need to add a new animation come to the animation panel and then click on add animation let's come here to add a fade animation like this so let's see what it does and then it will disappear by default you need to 
click to make it move and then click to make it disappear and i want to save that click click on this drop down menu and change the setting to start after previous so now when you play the animation it will disappear right after it finished the relocation and now we need these merged uh, merged vesicle appear so let's add an animation to all of them uh, entrance fade let's preview it click it's gone now i click again the merged vesicle appears let's come to the drop down menu and click on start with previous and let's see what would happen now i start the animation by clicking old vesicle disappeared the new merged one would appear at the same time the vesicle merges with the membrane let's go to animation and add a line a line for the movement okay and let's adjust the ending of this animation to here on the neuron transmitter let's play this and see how it goes but somehow we don't have an appearing animation on this neuron transmitter so we need to add one for uh add one appearing animation for it so we should use add animation here and click on fade and you can have this one start with previous okay let's see yes now it works let me see animations and lines yeah let's see where we want it to end let's end it here maybe here okay let's see okay we accidentally replaced some of the uh, entrance animation so we need to fix it let's see first uh, i will fix this path And then these entrance animation needs to go before um, before all the movements. And then we have two I accidentally deleted two of the entrance animation. I need to add them back now. Let's see who has it missing. Oh, we have 85 and 88. So 86 and 87 I have it missing. Let me add it back. Was it appearing? Yes. Turn to 86. Okay, and they all need to start with previous. Okay, good. And now uh, these uh, these movements needs to be starting with previous two. They need to move at the same time. There's one missing. Eighty six. Which one is eighty six? This one. This is 85. This is 86. Okay, 86 is not moving now. Let me add a path for it. Okay, I'll let it end here. Moves on its own, so we need to make it start with previous. Also, this one make them all start with previous then i think they will move it by itself automatically yes and they move a little bit too fast it's one part that moves a little bit too fast how about 
let me see this one we can go to effect options and change timing delay yeah delay for one little 0 0.5 second da -da -da. this yes do, do you do you guys notice this one stays in the fused vesicle for half a second we need to do the same to the rest you can just group select them and go to timing and add a half second delayed for everyone let's watch it again there you go that's how you make a neural transmission animation in powerpoint i'm making a competition award for you guys you can submit your scientific illustration to me and the winner of this competition will get 100 euro from me it, it is a cash prize this is for thanking you guys for supporting me and now we have over 10 thousand subscribers on this youtube channel that's very amazing and it could only be done with your support now i'm giving it back to the community so there's an opportunity for you to get some money from me all you need to do is to make to make an incentive illustration and there will be a selection process and the winner will be decided by everybody it will be a public vote on twitter uh, between the two finalists so everybody have the opportunity to earn uh, to win the 100 euro cash prize to make things for the award for the competition and send them to me uh i will also make an announcement video about it <laughs> so so it will be playing on youtube all the time and what else what else what else and i wish you guys a happy new year and hope you will have a good party and celebrate it or just have a chill time with the holiday okay have a nice evening everyone i'll see you next week